Okay, in this video, I want to compare digital logic from fundamentals of a digital class um, to PLC logic because, and I want to kind of help to demonstrate how they're the same thing. They're just being laid out in different ways. Okay, so basically what I have here, very simple, I have two inputs in series or what would be considered AND logic. I have two inputs over here. They're wired, they're, they're, they're programmed in parallel or in or circuit. Now notice the way I labeled these A and B, A and B, but I gave them different addresses and the outputs are both Y. So I'm putting this into a very digital format. A and B are typically your two inputs and your output is typically Y. Okay. Now this output can be anything. It could be uh, a solenoid off a directional control valve, a conveyor belt motor starter, or just going to use some lights. And I've used a couple selector switches with different addresses to identify how this works. Now I'm going to go ahead and download this and I want to show you how this works in comparison to the digital circuits that are on the right hand side. Now I have my AND circuit. So I have A by itself, nothing. B by itself, nothing, but A and B, Y activates. Okay, now whether this is on the right hand side in a digital circuit or on a digital board where you're learning logic or in a PLC, it's basically the same thing. Let's take a look at the OR statement. Okay, so I have A or B here. So A activates it, or B activates it, or both. Okay, and the more you understand how to apply what you learn in digital fundamentals to a, your PLC programming, the easier it's going to be. And let me give you a couple more examples here. Okay, so now we have a couple of circuits set up here that operate in different logic. Okay, so we're going to assume that these three switches, their normal position or their, their, their starting position is a better way to say it. Because if you say normally open that more of a push button, these are selector switches. So their starting position are to the left. Okay, and the logic here is A, B, not C. So if I activate A and B, it activates. But if C activates, it goes false. You can see that on the inverter bubble on C in the digital logic circuit, okay? And that's how that activates. So if you move these over, this is, they are, they are the same circuit. Y just happens to be a light, just like it would be on a digital breadboard, okay? Now let's look at the next rung, rung one. So here we have A or B and C will activate the output, all right? Now, this is all very important because most good programmers, I shouldn't say that, most programmers who I deal with prefer to have one output per line, okay? Maybe with the exception of uh, pilot lights that indicate when like a motor starters are on or something like that, but for the most part, good programmers that I deal with want one output per line. Now you can argue with me about that if you want, but most of them do. And when you do, when, when that is the case, that is a digital circuit. It operates exactly the same because all digital logic circuits have one output. Okay. And so this is just a, an introductory step into comparing PLC logic and digital fundamental logic. All right. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you very much.